Hi, seventh graders. Welcome back to part two of our uh, mini lesson on central idea. So remembering what I talked about before, we're figuring out your main idea is the who or the what that the author wants you to learn about. Today, you're going to be asked to read some passages on the different hierarchies of classifications of uh, people during the Middle Ages, and I'm going to walk you through an example. You're going to, to model for you what I'm going to ask you to do today. So I have an article here, a paragraph, just giving me some basic information on nobles. Nobles is one of the classes. I'm going to read it to you. Then I'm going to pick through and find these supporting details that point to um, the central idea. And then I'm going to write in my own words what I believe the central idea of this passage of this article is. So follow along, please. In the Middle Ages, there was a definite structure in society. You were broken into a class of people and generally stayed in that class for your entire life. Working hard did not change your status. Your clothing, food, marriage, homes, etc. were determined for you. After the rank of king, the hierarchy was the nobles, the knights, the clergy, religious people, the tradespeople, the tradesmen, sorry, and the peasants. During the Roman Empire, the people were ruled by a government that had a civil system. One of the duties of this government was to protect the people. When the empire collapsed, there was a king, but there was no formal organization to keep the people safe. The nobles filled this role. In turn for the service to the nobles, either through farming the land or doing duties the nobles prescribed, the peasant people were given protection. The nobles offered this protection through the use of knights, who most often were the sons of their nobles. So there's my article. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick out the um, supporting details that support just when they talk about facts about the nobles. If it's not important and if it's not specific to nobles, I am not going to pay attention to it. So I'm going to go through really quick. In the Middle Ages, there was a definite structure in society. You were bro born into a class of people, generally stayed in that class for your entire life. So far, nothing, to, nothing specific just to nobles. So I'm going to keep moving on. Working hard did not change your status. Yep, your clothing home were determined for you, correct? After the rank of king, the hierarchies was the nobles. First time I have the word nobles, so I know it's going to be important. I'm going to highlight that so that I understand that, there's my highlighter, that's a supporting detail. After the rank of kings, the next group were the nobles. Important. Second class. Um, here's the rest of the class. During the Roman Empire, the people were ruled by a government that had a civil system. That's a long time ago, not relevant to what we're talking about now. One of the duties of this government was to protect the people. When the empire collapsed, there was a king, but there was no formal organization to keep the people safe. Oh, huh, that's too bad, but not important enough for me right now. Oh, but the next sentence, the nobles filled this role, huh, in turn for their service. So the nobles' job was to do what? Reading back back to the last sentence, to keep people safe. The noble filled this role to keep people safe. So I'm just going to highlight that all. Because again, supporting detail, that's important that I add that in my central idea because that's what we're talking about. In turn for the service of the nobles, either through farming in the land or doing duties the nobles prescribed, the peasant people were given protection. So it's saying the nobles filled this role of keeping people safe. Which group of people did they specifically keep safe? The, no, the peasants were protected by the nobles. Important information, highlight it up. The nobles offered this protection through the use of knights, who most often were the sons of, of nobles. Huh, okay. So nobles were knights, and they were the sons, the sons of nobles. Gonna highlight that, important. Or knights. Huh, I've heard of knights before. I'm going to use that. Okay. So as I sit back and take a look at it, I have highlighted the supporting details, the things that I want to include in my one sentence summary. So in my one sentence summary, I have to use all of these highlighted um, pieces of information or find a way to organize all that piece, all those pieces of information. Now, I have my notebook right next to me and I kind of juggled it around and wrote crossed out things because that's the way I process information. If you can highlight and just move things around yourself, that's fine. So here's what I came up with. Here is my one sentence summary. Phew, one sentence, hard for me. And I am including the, the gist, the main points of this article. My one sentence summary of the paragraph in my own words, here's what I got for you. 
The nobles were the second class in the hierarchy under the king. One of their jobs was to have knights provide protection to the peasants in exchange for working the land. So this is my, that is my, ooh, hard to read, sorry. That is my um, central idea, what I think the central idea is of that sentence. Now, I didn't include all of the facts. I didn't say that the knights were the sons of nobles because I would have been rambling on there and I would have been longer than one sentence. So I had to juggle it around. The nobles were, I explained what they were, second class in the system, Right, the kings, the nobles, yep. Their job was protection. That's the main job. That's the main thing that's talked about right here. Yep. And the peasants got protection because they did what? They worked the land. So they were provided with protection. So to wrap it up, what you're going to do today is you have five different classifications, the five classifications in the hierarchy um, during the medieval times. And you are going to read all five articles to get the get, gathering the information. You're gonna pick two out of the five and you are going to write two one sentence summaries doing exactly what I did just now, okay? Good luck, thanks for listening.